Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Viking Conquest Reforged Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just sold yet more wool to the likes of Dorstad, and we had wandered around trying to trade some more goods. And, well, I did attempt to find some timber at a variety of different locations around the length and breadth of England, and it appears as though timber is very, very difficult to find, unless you go to a timber yard. So what we're going to be doing is making our way back up there, because I went up and now I have come down again, and just as I was about to reach our refuge, we have been intercepted by a band of lawless criminals. So, you'll have nothing of mine but cold steel, scum, and we're going to be attacking 35 of them with 13. So, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Minus two battle advantage. Let's see how well we can hold our own here. We have Max, of course, which is going to make a huge difference, of course. Max is going to give us his dog powers. And we are going to, hopefully, be able to prove to these guys that we're going to be okay. Now, for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why, but for some reason, when you're waiting at your refuge, you don't actually get inside, because... As we had a little bit of damage from the previous fight, I decided to wait a little bit just before I started the episode, just to make sure that everything was going to be okay. But it appears as though we do not get zoned inside, or at least that is what it appeared it was like. So a little bit worrying, I have to admit, but it appears as though these ruffians are falling before us rather easily because we do have a very, very strong force, and I did attempt to take as many high-level units as I could, and as we can see, we have Dwiwe actually running after these guys, actually causing them a great deal of distress, and I'm hopefully going to shoot that guy in the butt, by the looks of things. Oh, no! I actually shot Dwiwe as well. Okay, well, that's a little bit unfortunate. Now, let's try for a blind shot. No. Unfortunately, not going to be a hit, but maybe, just maybe, she will be able to Shoot someone with her crossbow. Oh my goodness, she actually did. She killed that guy that I impaled with my javelin. Even with a javelin of mine in her shoulder. Well, that is pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. And we will be now pressing tab to eliminate the rest of them, or at least to rout the rest of them. And we are now going to be recruiting a couple of young warriors and taking some ruffians prisoner and we are going to be sharing the loot equally because I don't want to lose any morale right now as we can see I have been attempting to get tools as we saw here we actually do have five sets of tools which is excellent because that is what we require to upgrade our refuge I do believe that is our next stage because I would like to get a reasonable stronghold in our refuge maybe around 80 to 90 units it depends on the limit. I'm pretty sure it will go to 100, maybe 150 if we are lucky, but 100 will have to do if it is the default upgrade, and we'll hopefully get around 80 to 90 units, as I say, and that will be very nice for when we want to buy a boat, of course, as well. So I'm actually unsure whether we will be upgrading yet, but we are going to be making our way up to the timber timber yard, should I say, and purchasing one more piece of lumber after we have made our way to Dorstadt and back to London. So, we are going to be heading in here. Unfortunately, this has a limit of 50, so I am going to have to pay a rather considerable... No, I don't want to take a walk around. No, thank you very much. I don't want to take a walk around. Fade me out, thank you very much. And we're going to be heading on over to managing the garrison and placing in some of our prisoners here. There we are. Now hopefully we'll have a little bit of a lesser fee for traveling over. Now I have attempted to find as much wool as I could. And yes, I have already bought from here. Thank you very much. So let's head on over to Dorstad and see how much we actually gain. I am hoping we will gain at least six, maybe even seven thousand. But who knows? I actually do not know. 717 pennies. So we're going to have to make... Hopefully over 6,000 to make this worth it. I am pretty sure we will, but you never know, because obviously 
maybe they don't have any money and maybe they have a little bit less than they had before so who knows maybe it's going to be mm, a little bit difficult a little bit difficult but we will see very very shortly and then we will of course travel back to london and then head north to the lumber yard and we'll see if we can buy some lumber there because even though i exited and went back in twice because I was hoping that they would get refreshed with lumber without me doing too much it appears as though we would have to wait a little bit and then head back at another time so let's take a look at oh my they have not been reimbursed ah the horse merchant has it appears so we're gonna be selling to the horse merchant a little bit here we have no more space so we're gonna try and make good use of that there we go no I don't want to sell wheat thank you very much and oh okay that's enough that's fine there's only a small discrepancy there. And the armorer doesn't seem to have too much. The weapon guy does. So that's rather nice. Let's sell the rest of our wool to him. That seems good to me. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we did make around 6,000 actually. That is pretty good. So let's visit the meat hall just to make sure that we're not missing out on anything. Bodo is here. Aha, uh -huh, hello. I have things to tell you. Listen carefully. Sir, I should be dead, but I still live while others who should be alive are dead. I came to consider the ship that brought me north, the Wodenrick, as a home, with its crew and as my family. So when the Vikings attacked, I grabbed my sword and my shield and prepared to defend them to the death. The Cantabrians are Christians, but some of us still remember the old gods. One in particular, Erudino, guides us in battle, and I shout his name while attacking with my sword. I'm not an idiot. I knew that the battle was lost. We were outnumbered, and they were better armed. But I asked Erudino to let me kill as many as possible before my trip to paradise. I hoped my sacrifice would allow the others to flee or cause fear among the Vikings. But these Vikings were hardened men who knew their job well. Half a dozen of them surrounded me and beat me while their companions invaded the Wodenrick and killed whomever stood in their way. And of course the Wodenrick is part of the storyline in Viking Conquest, the campaign mode anyway. I saw everyone down, the captain, the sailors, the archers that protected the boat. And I thought I, well, and I thought myself dead until I woke up in the Viking ship, tied hand and foot. I was a prisoner, but thank God I escaped. Now I am a miserable man before Erudino. I should be dead and the others alive. Now I just live for redemption. Okay, so please do not be 2,000. Oh, he's actually joining us for free. Okay, welcome. Welcome, Bodo, to the ranks and we will now be heading on back, I do believe. Yes, wait a minute. I could see the ships and see if we can actually get something rather cool here. Ah, that's very badly damaged. Isn't that unfortunate? Because if it wasn't, I think we might actually be able to afford it somewhat. Whoa, that actually has a very good condition. Oh, that's actually not too bad. I would love to take that one. Damn, okay. Oh no, well that's a little unfortunate, isn't it? Hmm, if only we had a little bit more cash. Okay, so nevertheless, we are now going to be traveling back to London. There we have it, another 750. Hmm, a little unfortunate, isn't it, to have to spend that much just to get back. But we do not have a ship currently, so I suppose it is worth it. And I do believe what I will be doing is taking out a couple of units from our refuge and then making our way up to the lumber yard and hopefully we will be able to acquire some additional timber. Otherwise, we're going to have a couple of difficulties because there are no other sources of lumber, as far as I am aware, that can be found in the game, at least as far as I can tell, because obviously there are no other lumber yards I think, at least. No other lumber yards? There is a salt mine. I do believe there are two salt mines, so maybe there are more lumber yards, but yeah, there is a number, another salt mine there, but I don't see any other lumber yards, so that's a little unfortunate. We have some ancient stones, a farmstead there. Maybe we should take a look at that at some point. Another salt mine and another farmstead. Aha, uh -huh. another farmstead there as well. We have some stones here. Maybe that's a stone. Uh, no, that's a. That's not a quarry. This is a quarry. Huh. 
Okay, well, there's the lumber camp, so we're going to need to head back up there. There's multiple quarries and everything else, but only one lumber camp. That's a little disappointing, but what can you do? So, without further ado, I will be cutting away, and I'll be making my way over to the lumber yard. Okay, so we have reached Skewin, and we are about to head on to <laughs> the lumber camp. Now, I do realize that that is not how you pronounce it, most likely, but I thought I would cut back here because we actually had a rather amazing development, and that is that the Kingdom of Norway, or at least technically the Kingdom of Norway, has declared war against two separate factions, which is actually remarkable in my opinion because, well, as we know, Viking Conquest is amazingly unforgiving when it comes to its content because obviously when you go into battle you are expecting to fight someone of your relative gear, but whenever you come across these guys with the most heavy armaments, as we can see here, we're actually wearing one, but this is not the best, I do believe. I think there is actually something better than that, and when you come across those guys with that armor, you are just thanking your lucky stars, really, that you are able to deal some damage to him, let alone kill him. So, yes, we have to wait until morning, apparently, until we can enter here, and we're going to be hopefully getting one more piece of lumber to be able to upgrade our refuge. Let's just see here. I want to buy some ti Yes! Excellent. Okay, so there it is. One more piece of timber. We now have five, which is exactly what we require. And one, two, three, four, five tools. Thank you very much. So, we are now going to be leaving and heading on down. All the way. Oh, no. All the way to my refuge. It does take a rather considerable amount of time. However, we are going to be making a journey out of this. And we're going to see how well we fare and also, we must avoid a certain Masterless Men band, because they have 41 units, and among them they have some noble units, as well as some veterans. So I would very much like to avoid them, if at all possible, but you never know. Maybe they will decide to attack us at some point, but nevertheless, I'm going to try and see whether we can check for some wool, because goodness knows we are going to need some. And I do believe this episode, after this episode, I will be just trading off screen and we will enter the next phase of our journey with Borgar. And that is, of course, going to include purchasing a boat and pillaging some trade routes from the Kingdom of Freeze. I do believe that is going to be a very worthwhile venture. So we're going to hopefully be able to do that. But otherwise, we're going to be beset upon by a couple of bandits, by the looks of things. Come on, companions. Charge in. Kill that guy. Yes. I need you to help me, actually, because last time this happened, Kayo did not do anything, and I was expecting him to do something automatically, but it appears as though I have to tell him to actually do something, which is remarkable. Yes, let's do this. Let's do one versus one. Come on. I can't believe this guy isn't actually dead yet. Thank you very much. I don't even really need to block against these guys, I don't believe, because they are wielding daggers, and as we know, daggers really do not do that much damage, especially against someone as armored as us. And I do believe I have checked for supplies. No, I haven't. Okay. Did I check for supplies from that? Hmm. I think I was about to, and then I was attacked by the bandits, so I suppose that's always... Good, isn't it? Okay, so there we are. Thank you very much for checking there. We do have a Northman Long Fort, but as we know as well, those guys can be vicious. Very vicious indeed. They are incredible units. Hopefully we'll be able to take them on when we are able to recruit more units and, of course, place them in the refuge garrison. That is the main problem we are currently having right now, that we are limited to only 50 units at one time, unless we are wanting to run around with a couple of units in our army. And, yeah, I really am not wanting to do that too much, because otherwise we're going to have to pay huge, huge fees, and indeed, it would probably be the same when we walk around with, well, minimal 
units, but you never know. I feel as though it was probably best to keep them in the refuge, and that also does include the fact that they are not going to have as much problem with, oh my, as much problem with morale, of course. So, yes, that is definitely something else to consider. I would like to actually take these renegades on. Would we be able to do it? They have 12 footpads, 10 robbers, 2... What? Wow. Okay, I have no idea why they are actually running away from us now, because we picked up two units, and now they're like, Oh no, we're not going to be taking on that guy. No, apparently not. Okay, so we have a current situation here with our companions. Now, these guys, I think Bodo and Solvig, they do not get on, but we are going to be siding with Solvig because she is... Well, apparently she was going to be our medic, but it appears as though Borgar has that all covered, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. Now, the only one that really matters, at least to me right now, is Kayo, because he actually has spotting, tracking, and of course we have Swellen here as well, who has tactics and weapon maintenance. I actually don't know how much weapon maintenance actually affects the party, but it seems as though they are both rather considerable in their bonuses so I would very much like to keep those guys on so it doesn't necessarily matter or I don't really mind whether Dwewe or Bodo leave I'd like to keep Solvig as a backup medic just in case Borga lo and behold gets knocked unconscious which is going to happen it is it is just inevitable but nevertheless what we are going to be doing is leveling up some of our units here now let's just see Hmm, I think we are probably going to go for strength, maybe. I'd like to move a little bit faster, but what does this do? Hmm, that's actually quite nice. We are able to get five in all of those skills. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now. Probably not even that either. Maybe we should get some charisma, but even then we're not able to get more leadership which is really quite unfortunate in my opinion, but I would love to be able to put more in trade skill. So I think we're going to do that. We're actually going to go for charisma, and we'll see if we can get a little bit more in trade. And then what? What are we going to be doing? Well, I suppose party map speed on the sea would be great, because no one else has that. So I suppose I'm going to be doing that as well. It appears as though Borgar is going to be a man of many talents. And we're going to be heading in against this bandit leader party here. Now, the one problem I'm going to have here is that there are two bandit leaders. So we are going to have a couple of difficulties. I'm hoping, yeah, hoping that we're not really going to lose too many units. But I suppose it really doesn't matter too much because we can quite easily reimburse them. There are no units here that are going to be incredibly rare for us to lose. Maybe apart from that fellow on his mount over there. I would very much like him to keep his blade at our side. You see what I did there? Hmm, yes. So, we are going to be hmm, moving up the hill. Hmm, I think maybe moving up the hill would be a good idea. Just to make sure that we have the high ground. Even though, probably not going to make too much difference. But we'll see. It might it might. Ooh, we actually have a couple of archers there. A little bit worried about them, to be honest. Yes, and I should be, it appears. I should be very much worried. Okay, we're going to be attempting to help out our unit's initial charge. And, oh no. We suffered a serious injury to one of our limbs. Minus one agility. What? Minus one. Oh. But that is, oh no, but that's really hard to get. Oh my goodness, that's actually really hard to get because you need to get, what is it, three levels or five levels before you're actually able to place one attribute point. Oh, oh well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, well, I didn't think it was that serious, to be honest. I didn't think we took that much of a serious blow, but it appears as though we did. So we're going to have a couple of difficulties, isn't it? Oh no. Well, I suppose we still have seven potential attribute points or skill points, should we say, to place in for Borgar. So we can actually get him seven in athletics and seven in shield if we have the shield skill. I'm pretty sure we do. And yeah, so everything around agility is actually still fine. So even if you do lose attribute points, it's really not too much to write home about, which I am actually very happy about because losing one agility 
I would definitely say is quite the severe blow, but thankfully enough, we do appear to be okay with that because, of course, you can still have seven in each, so it's not too bad considering it's half, it's 50% of the attribute that matters. So let's try and deal some damage. There we go. I was hoping that we'd actually knock him unconscious because, goodness knows, it would be amazing to knock one of those bandit leaders unconscious. And I was hoping we'd get a little bit more renown than that, but I suppose we had maybe too much of a big party? Mm, not entirely sure about that, but nevertheless we are able to take quite a good amount of shields right there. And you know why I want those shields? Yes. I'm going to be giving that to Solvig. I'm going to be giving that to a couple of other companions as well. They do require them, after all. It would be very nice. Bodo. He requires a helmet as well. So let's give that to him. Thank you very much. And I don't know why I'm trying to put the shield in the glove slot. That is just amusing. Uh, yes, very much so. Okay, and we can give this shield here. Thank you. And any helm? Do we have a helm to actually provide here? It doesn't appear as though we do. No, that's unfortunate. But wait a second. Is Bodo wearing some good armor? No, he's actually wearing some terrible armor, so we can give him this as well. Very much an upgrade. Hmm, I'm thinking we're going to give him a short axe just in case, because I'm not entirely sure about this light long spear. I suppose he does have a pretty good amount in... No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a pretty good amount in pole arms. So, we're going to be removing that light long spear and just letting him use that short axe. He's going to be a lot more effective, in my opinion. And we're going to be leveling that fellow up there and changing the tags on these guys a little bit now as well. There we go. So now we've got all infantry. That's very nice indeed. I do like that. So now we can start heading back down to our refuge. And I do believe I am going to be cutting away and... Upon arriving at our refuge, I will cut back and we will upgrade our refuge. Okay, so we've arrived back at our refuge and we are now about to talk to our captain. So, I want to improve this place. And there we have it. 5,000 pennies, 5 tools, 5 timber. And, well, I suppose that is it. Now, we just need to wait here for some time and we'll see what actually transpires, but... Oh, no! Oh, wait a minute! We can actually... Oh... One day left. That is unfortunate. We could actually... Very, very quickly do that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we need to very quickly rush to try and find a physician. Otherwise, we are going to suffer with that minus one agility for ever, by the looks of things, but as I said before, it doesn't really make too much difference. It would be rather nice to get it cured, of course, but let's just hope that we're able to find a physician. If I'm not able to find one here, then I will most likely try to travel up to Edinburgh, because that actually does, as a matter of fact, have a physician, and I know where the physician is, but I'm hopeful that this fellow in the robe is going to be a physician. It is. Very nice indeed. So, we're just going to be speaking to this guy. I knew you to tend to my heavy wounds. Yes. And apparently he took damage for some reason right there. <laughs> okay. So, without further ado, I am going to be ending this episode off here. And hopefully in the next one, we will see what the upgrade has done to our refuge. And we will also have a suitable amount of money to purchase our first ship. From trading, of course. So, I thank you. And I will see you next time.